OK. Sally the cat in her last days of life, snuggling in close for comfort. She fell ill quickly with a mysterious disease. Her owner, Beverly Hanley, believes it's down to the pet food. She changed it at Christmas. Five months later, Sally was dead. She looked very glazed. Um, it was almost like she was looking through us. And my first thought was maybe she had had a stroke. Um, and um, she had a very foggy expression on her face and she felt very, very hot. I was holding her in my arms. She had several seizures. Um, she defecated herself as well. She sort of wet, wet herself and myself. Um, and um, it didn't seem right at all. But the heartache isn't over. Beverly's cat Byron is now ill after eating the same food as Sally. Her other cat didn't touch it and is fine. At least 330 cats in the UK have died from this rare illness called feline pancitopenia. Vets say it's important to watch out for signs. It could be things like loss of appetite, vomiting, weight loss, lethargy. Um, when it gets more severe, you can see bleeding from the, the mouth, um, sometimes bleeding in the feces. So if you notice any changes with your cat, particularly vague signs, initially it's sort of this lethargy, loss of appetite, do give your vets a call straight away, particularly if you've been feeding this food and you find it on that list. An investigation into the causes of the cat deaths continues and the potential link to the pet food. This has been recalled from shelves as a precaution. The manufacturer, Fold Hill Foods, said assisting the Food Standards Agency investigation is an absolute priority for the business. And there are a number of tests on food samples and ingredients being conducted by independent laboratories. There's no definitive evidence to confirm a link at this stage between the cat food products and feline pantosopenia. It's too late to save Sally, but Beverly wants answers to why she died and hopefully in time to save her other cat from the same fate. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.